Hey everybody, it's Fett here, along with my partner in crime, Nancy Moran. Hello, Nancy. Hello. Welcome to Fett's Guitar Toolbox. Woohoo! Woo hot dog. <laughs> so over the last three videos, we've talked about variations on the A chord, the D chord, and the E chord, and we talked a lot about open uh, fingerings and add nines, add twos, sus fours, that kind of thing. And I realized in the process of making those videos that there's actually one of Nancy's songs that has a lot of that stuff in it and also illustrates the inner play between two guitars playing different inversions of chords. So we thought, what the hell, let's just use that song as an example of kind of bringing it all together. So what's the song, Nance? Uh, it's Jennifer's song, and it was a song that I wrote for my best friend, Jennifer. Cool. Um, so this actually started on keyboard. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it did. It, Ended up on guitar and kind of evolved uh, into sort of a one four five, almost a blues progression, but not really. But it's based around a one, a four, and a five chord. And uh, so, Nancy, your basic chords are what? Your your main chord that you're playing are, are A, well, right? Just and straight a, a, sus. a and a sus, right? And D. D add what two or D add nine, depending on okay. uh, your viewpoint. Right. And E. And E. And so the... And the sus. And the sus. So yeah. the uh, the A and the E are straight, uh, normal first position chords uh, for A and E. Uh, and then we've got the sus uh, and the uh, the add nine or add two on the yeah. D. Uh, do you do actually play the straight D sometimes, right? No, I don't. Oh, I you don't, never do. Okay. I well. never play the straight D. I play this. Oh, that's good to know. So that's the sus yeah. there. That's good to know because I actually, uh, well, you'll see what I do, but I almost most of the time never play exactly the same inversion as Nancy. And sometimes I'll change the inversion mid chord. Like I'll be playing an A with her, but then I'll play an A add two or A add nine. I'll drop uh, one note while she stays on the, the regular A fingering. Um, and the other thing you'll notice is as I go throughout the song with Nancy, I will change which inversions of those chords I'm playing. So in the first verse, uh, we start out with uh, a straight A chord together. Uh, and then when we go to the D, uh, she plays the add nine this way, and I play it this way, which we've seen in the videos before. So I actually play it up the neck, so that way we get a full chord with me playing that top note and she's playing that open note here. So let's play that together. As opposed to us both doing this. So you get a, a fullness, a kind of an extra ring on top with that extra note. And I start the song out playing mostly what she plays. Uh, and then as the song evolves, I get more uh, inversions and stuff that I put in there. So that kind of covers the D. Now I never play the sus of the D the way you do. Mm -hmm. So play that sequence that happens in the middle of the verse where you're, uh, where you're um, going through the sus uh, and the add nine inversions, and I'll, I'll illustrate what I play there. So your, your sequence is... Right, so she goes back and forth between the add nine or add, add two and the, uh, and the sus. Now what I do there is I start, this is the first time I actually play the straight D while she's playing that first chord. When she goes to the sus, I actually go to a G chord. So we got a little bit of uh, interesting resonance there. And when she goes back to the, sus, to the add nine, I do that, I'm climbing up. And then she goes back again. I climb back down to that G and I play a straight D. Oh, uh, sorry, a straight A when we come back. So let's play that whole sequence together. One, two, three, four. One more time. So the other thing I'm doing there is I'm occasionally playing a little, little lick on the bottom E string, um, sort of as a, as a fill uh, part, if you will. So that's one of the reasons that I'm playing my A chord uh, fingered this way instead of this way. I could do it this way, 
but I find it easier to keep all three uh, strings, all three notes of the A chord pressed down and just do it like that. that that's just a question of taste. Either one is totally fine. I could have done it this way and kept all three fingers down. But the idea is when I'm playing that A, I'm putting some movement in it while she isn't. Uh, so she's playing the straight strum and uh, the normal fingering of the chord. All right, so we've covered the A, we've covered the D. Um, and uh, so my two Ds so far are this and this. And then uh, in that middle sequence of the verse, I do this. So that last chord then is the E chord. Uh -huh. So what do you do when you hit the E? And then you go to the yeah. to the D. So she plays a sus there. She goes E sus, D sus. And what I play there is I, most of the time anyway, I'll play the E up here now. And we've seen this fingering before in a previous uh, uh, video. So there's my E, here's the sus. So I'm doing that while she's playing. Actually, go ahead and play your part now. And then where do you go? You go to the D, so I go down here. Now she plays the sus there and I don't. So I stay where I was with the add nine or add two and then we both go back to the A chord. I think that covers pretty much everything. So you can see, you'll be able to, we're gonna go ahead and do the song now, but you'll hear the interplay of all those different versions of the chords between one another as we go through the song and we try to change things up a little bit so that there's some progression from the start of the song to the end. About the only other thing I do that I can think of off the top of my head is a lot of times when Nancy stays on the A, I'll play the A add nine or A, uh, add two as a little accent and you get almost a little bit of dissonance there for lack of a better way to put it but it kind of causes a change or a transition from one chord or one part of the song uh, to the next anything else uh, you can think of that we do in there i don't think so shall we go ahead and play yeah, yeah. all right take it away nancy <laughs> seen her since my wedding she's had two kids since then Somehow 
So after running through the song here, I realized there was one thing I forgot to mention before that I was playing. During the verses, when Nancy's doing this. While she's playing that sequence, I'm actually sometimes, depending on what verse it is, I'm actually playing my A chord like this, uh, which has an extra A note on the top. So this is what it sounds like as opposed to this. So I've got that extra A, she doesn't. And then when she goes to the D add nine or add two chord, I'm actually playing this right here. So my basic fingering is actually for a B minor seventh chord, but I'm leaving the A note open on the bottom and the A note on the top that I was playing with the A chord before. So it's like this. So using that relative minor there, the, the built around a B minor or B minor seventh chord, along with the D, add nine or add two, gives a really nice full sound between those two guitar parts. If you'd like to find a copy of this song, you can go to Nancy's website. It's nancymoran.com. That's N-A-N-C-Y-M-O-R-A-N.com. And if you go to the music link, you can find actually two recordings of this song. One is a studio recording and one is a live recording, depending on which album you're looking at. Of course, you can also find this song and all of Nancy's music on Spotify, Amazon.com, and other streaming services. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down there and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear your comments in the comments section. Keep expanding, and we'll see you in the next one.